Hi, if you're having a problem where you're looking for the solution for your Galaxy phone and the problem you have is your current software version isn't supported, fix, well this is what you have to do. For you to make sure, you've probably already gone here, you go to your settings, your software updates, and you've been trying to download it and install it and for whatever reason, it's not doing it. It does this check and it says your current software version isn't supported. Please visit a service center and you may not know even where to look for a service center or it may not be in your country. So you're going to have to do this. You're going to have to get uh, a USB-C cable, preferably the one that came with the phone. And you're going to have to download a software. There's two different ways you can do this. But hopefully the first one is really the only one you're going to need to do. So you're going to want to plug it in. And then you're going to want to plug it in the other end to your computer. You see it's connected. And you're going to want to download two different apps. Um, yeah, sure, allow. You probably should allow it for data. You're going to want to get um, the Galaxy Smart Switch app, which uh, let's say you have a new phone, get your account installed onto the phone, um, your Google account, and go to the Google Play Store and type in uh, Smart Switch. Let's say you typed it in and this is the app. Currently, this is how it looks. Install it, download it, whatever it is, and um, you want to go to open. And then you're going to say sure, continue. And you want to get the companion app, which is on the computer, which you can see over here type in whatever search engine you're using the Galaxy Smart Switch app you want to go to what seems like the right one and this website will probably change from time to time because this may be an older video who knows by then you want to look for the Smart Switch Windows or whatever operating system you're on Mac OS I'm on Windows this is a link to the one on the Google Play Store for your phone if you want to do it that way so click download uh, I'm Windows down your download yours and then go to where it has downloaded and then run the installer so maybe it's in your downloads folder wherever it is go and install it once it's installed let it run uh, there's some ch things to check in the app when installing to say yes you want to do it and here is the app now you see they have seen each other which is good and at this point if you have a bunch of stuff on your phone you don't want to get deleted or erased at any point you should probably do backup and go through the whole process of backupping um, I'm not going to currently do that you'll probably have to save the file on your computer somewhere and where it is and then there's also restore I'm actually looking for how to get the firmware update At this point, you may want to pick a uh, backup if you have anything to backup. And if not, uh, if this is a fresh phone, you can skip. At this point, you just wait and sit for the software to update. Please do not connect the wire or turn off your computer or phone. You want to put in your password for your computer if you do have one. And for whatever reason it doesn't work or update, um, you're going to have to do it the more technical way but not as hard way. I'll show you how to do that soon. Alright so for the method 2 that we're going to take because the smart switch didn't work for whatever reason um, you're going to want to do these things have your phone obviously connected to the computer if you want this would probably be very useful use the smart switch app go on this um, I forget what the three dots are called go to um, device info and it will tell you the model number that's if you don't already have it which for this particular phone we do it's on android 11 and you know how much size and then it tells you right here the um i don't know what you call it but uh, i think some places call it country code um so you're going to keep this in mind and you're going to go to actually a website and search up Samsung firmware and you want to go to I've tried a few and the one currently at this time I liked was this one the galaxy firmware I went here and it take me you know to the, the website here and you put in the Model number right here, and you're gonna look 
And as you can tell, I have looked right here. You type it in, it takes you to a place like this, and you want to go down. And you're going to look, and you're going to want to see what region you're in. These regions sometimes are um, from specific versions of the firmware that are Sprint or T-Mobile, or there's just the generic US one. Um, so you want to know which version your phone has because I'm not sure if you could put Sprint on a phone that would have T-Mobile because is, as you can see over here it says TMB that's actually T-Mobile so I'm not gonna try to mess up this phone I'm gonna stick to the region code TMB let's say you're in a different country you'll have to figure out what versions they have in your country and use smart switch that that's my best way of knowing what was on this phone so now I'm gonna go to let's see out of this place right here there's only one TMB this is uh, Android 12 um, I don't think this matters so much this is more of saying what's um, current I'm not sure exactly but you could check and build dates so you know what's the newest the size go to download um, you could click this I believe it takes you to here Let's double check that. Click this, download, and sometimes the files, okay, it took me here, maybe uh, big, they're usually big. It says 5.7 gigabytes, so just keep that in mind. You want to do the capture, and you want to do the generate link, which took me to this, and there is three different links. Just try each of them. Uh, some of them don't work for some sometimes. Uh, you may have to refresh refresh the website, do the capture, and then generate links because it's creating some type of unique link. And you can use any of these three. Uh, on the second time around, this one worked for me in that I had downloaded it. And you also want to get the uh, software for you to put the firmware on the phone. So you're going to go to, it's called Odin. There's many different places you get it. Let's go online and type it look for a place that has Odin I'm gonna put a link in the description down below for you to find it I had found it through a different place uh, I'm just not gonna go there right now but go look in the link description down below you want to download Odin put it on wherever you want uh, desktops probably easier for you to remember um, download firmware as well it may take a while download it and put it on your desktop wherever it is and you're gonna to want to get them ready at this point, there's a link in the description I have for instructions to use Odin. You're gonna to wanna to follow these instructions. I will be using it as well. At this point, um, you could probably close Smart Switch. I'm gonna close it now. All right, so now you have Odin on uh, your desktop. Um, unzip it. It will be here, here's the files. Double click Odin. And as you have your firmware, you unzip it and there'll be multiple files with different names that will We'll put in certain slots as you can see pretty soon so I have them ready open Odin it's gonna say actually something um, around the like that uh, your phone should you should get rid of like log off sign off of your Google account on your phone because it may be a problem I will put a screenshot on the screen to show you so you should probably do that and usually the best way to do that restart the phone if you really have to I don't I, I would do what it says because you may get locked out possibly you want to do factory reset on your phone it may be a few different places you could even type it here and let's see reset mm -hmm. factory reset and this will completely erase everything off your phone so remember that <laughs> backup if you want to you, you should if you really want to not reinstall everything by hand you should do that I'm gonna factory reset just to make it easier I want to make sure telling me everything I'm going to it's gonna get rid of and I'm like sure and I put in my pin don't look if you have a pin it, it will ask and delete all and it's basically factory reset like if you just bought it you won't remember any of your information and delete Now you can see the phone says erasing. It may take some time, uh, it may not. Let it do its thing. It's gonna restart eventually. 
and it's going to be just as when you first bought it or got it. And this may be a good time right now to read over the document and description for how to flash your Samsung phone using Odin. At this point, it says open Odin. I have it open. It says power off your phone. I'm going to actually turn it off because we're going to have to press the certain button combination. You can only do it at the beginning of the phone being restarted. For this particular phone, I'm going to have to actually hold down the volume button and the big C button to get to the download screen. So we're going to go to power off, disconnect the power, now I'm going to turn it on and hold down the big C and the volume down. Every phone is different, so you should look up what your download button uh, button combination is. At this point, I finally got to the screen. Now I'm going to put continue. Alright, now I'm in the right place. I'm going to plug in, plug in the cable. In your firmware, you're going to have to figure out what is the right firmware. I mean, at this point, you should probably have already found it for you. And you're going to need to put it in a specific way. Uh, right here in this, you'll find this in the description down below as well. I've already passed this part. Wait until you see a blue sign. It says the phone is added, it's connected, which is good. All right, now I have to put in the files in the correct place, the BL and the BL. In your firmware file or zip file, there will be multiple different files. Make sure to put these in the right place as it says right here, AP and the AP, I'm BL right now. I put the BL and this will do something. Sometimes this may take longer, it may not. I'm doing the AP, make sure to do the one with the AP. And then it says also the CP and the CP, okay. And the home s underscore s, I mean csc in the csc spot. Okay. And there's other options here. It says you can go to the options, which will be right here the uh, f reset time and auto boot, and also just don't go into the pit tab. All right. Now that it finished, I'm doing the cp and then the csp. Make sure it said home that csp. Okay. All right, they're all ready. And don't do anything on the user data because it says do not check other things that you don't need to check. And at this point, it says to start. I'm not sure how long this will take, but it should take a few minutes. Make sure to not disconnect the cable from your phone, from the computer, and do not turn off the phone or the computer. At this point, the phone had restarted because it went through its whole process. And now let's see if it works because it said on the uh, Odin right here, it says that the uh, thread has been completed. So that is good. At this point, the phone's going to want to optimize apps. I have T-Mobile, so that's why it says T-Mobile on the phone. I wanted to make sure to stick with the same uh, region code. At this point, it has gone back to the welcome screen. And well, you could have closed Odin when it, once it had done the uh, optimization but I'm gonna close it now and uh, there you go now you could disconnect it because you don't need to have it connected anymore you want to go through the whole setup process here agree to what you want to agree those are optional so I don't have to agree to them and other things you know just go through the process now that your phone has been reset put in your Wi-Fi you're gonna to need to update it to double check that you're able to now do the updates so I put in the Wi-Fi and now I wait as it connects and it's going to probably say I'm going to want a lot of different updates and stuff and if you want you could do the copy app if you have another phone to transfer stuff over. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to skip this. You can do that if you want but I'm going to skip this because I want to make sure the updates. I'm going to yeah, make sure these are not on. I just don't want these on right now. Mm -hmm. Put in a pin if you want. I'll skip that for now. And may ask for, oh yeah, updates uh, for apps, what do you want to install? I'm uh, just going to put a few for right now. Going to skip this as well. Skip. I'm just trying to get to the options place of the phone so I can see what version am I on. So it finished. Now go to your settings. 
and look for software updates. And this is how you know if it has been successful. It has not been checked on an update, download an update. And now it says your software is up to date. Very good. So it had worked. And that is how you get the error code gone. So you can now have the most up to date firmware and it will continue. It should continue to update in the future now that you do the check here for updates and it tells you last checked and it shall tell you. So thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to see any more other technical videos you may need. Uh, even relating on maybe this phone, look in the description down below. There may be a playlist for more on this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope it was very helpful and have a great day.